hi and welcome to excel data entering form so let me show you guys how this works if i click on add or add record this is what you guys will see all of this information that i've just added in here should be displayed right underneath here right there can you see that guys okay and we can also reset the whole system or delete whatever we want let's say we want to delete let's look for something to delete assuming i want to delete this now okay i can just click on delete and that's it if you look in here that is gone see that let's say i want to delete this okay there and there is gone so i can reset to reset all I need to do is click on reset and enter new data in there let's say we want to enter the following reference and the name of this let's say the name is Peter or let's say Pete Pete South and address of South is number 5 So that is the address there and the postcode, let's say DD and telephone number. There we go. Date, let's say this. And uh, proof of ID, student ID. Member type, it's an annual member as well. And fee paid. So all we just need to do is to add that very record if you look in here now before i add take a good look at this click and there we go come right down there that's speed style details there okay so we also have exit if i click on exit i can exit or do whatever i like Okay, the other thing about this Excel data entry form is all of this information that we enter on this form itself can be directly stored onto the Excel workbook itself. So if I click on this now, right, so we will see, let's come in here, see that information? Okay, that's factor 14 journey. So let's assume I click on it again look at that you see that is officially stored onto the excel spreadsheet itself so let's come back to the form itself and we can delete some of those xx record as well so just select and just delete yes. okay so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys Hi and welcome to Excel data entering form I'm going to start by clicking on the developer tool right here but if you don't have the developer tool or if you are new to developing a system using Excel what I would advise you to do is to get your developer tool you go to file then you select options and once you are on options you need to click on the customize ribbon right here and once that is enabled you see the developer tool you must make sure that is checked it must be checked once it's checked you then click on ok but if you can't find the developer tool all you need to do is maybe go to popular commands and there you should be able to see your developer tool here just click and add to this uh, customized ribbon area and then click on ok there and you should be able to see your developer menu up there then click on developer menu now you want to select visual basic or you can always click on alt f11 as you can see here alt f11 
So click on Visual Basic. Once you click on Visual Basic, you then need to select Insert and User Form. Click on User Form. Now your form will appear. Or so now that your form appears, the next thing you want to do is depend on the size that you want your form to be. In my case, I want the height of my form to be approximately 700. And the width, I'll make that maybe 1000. And 30 and just click on enter there that is it done now the next thing that you will need is as follows I need some frames so click on your form and the toolbox will appear if the toolbox is not there that is your toolbox there click on your toolbox I will now select frame click on the frame just drag it that much if you want to be specific you can always take care of your design know the length of your frame and so on so supposing my frame the top frame let's make that approximately 54 and the width i'm going to make that 996 right there there so that is that taken care of the next one I would like to take care of would be another frame. I might as well just click, hold my control and copy this. There. So this very one that I've just copied, I'm going to make the size, the width. Uh, let's go for the height. Let's change the height to 234. Okay. Now, let's come down here. I'm going to copy this again because I need another one to copy drag drop it right there okay in the case of this one let's change the I'm going to change the height of that one to approximately 180 so I have three frames there on my system there that's it all done now those three components of my system I'm going to change their color so select them individually the first two the first two will be of the same color so you can go to back color right there and select that I'm going to go to palette and I think I'm going to set you for this background color now this very one on top change the back color as well palette and maybe I will set you for something green just like that now for the very one right on top I'm now going to add a label click paste a label there and this very label I'm going to enter in there Excel data entry form okay I have Excel data entry form in there but I do need to customize the size so let's go to form or fonts click on font and in there make that bold maybe let's go for maybe 48 that might be too much I'm going to see if I can reduce it to 44 right still need to kind of like open it up so that you guys can see it okay that looks fine all right now the next thing I want to do is to change the font color so I'm gonna come into where we have font or four color here click on that and let's change the color to that that is sorted now I need more labels here and these very labels let's change the size of that very label to bold 16 I will copy that across and I also need a text box that is text box there click paste a text box there let's change the font of that to bold 16 as well right and the size of this very text box let's come into height 
let's change the height to 30 and the width I'm going to change that to 330 as well right so I can now copy it across so grab both and let's position them properly okay just like that so I will now hold on to the control and just copy hold on to the control copy again and one more time yeah okay this is going to be for my address the last one but let me copy all of these so that I can just copy and paste more let's see copy the right thing yeah copy and drag that is it now this very one drag it right down okay the size of the very one uh, maybe I should leave it like that for now and this one I'm going to need about six of these here so I need two more so let's copy one and just drag no hold on to the control and do that okay let's move this one first so that we have enough room let's do the same thing here and the same thing and select it all click and drag that is it all is ready now so all I just need to do now is to start changing the name so the label name let's come in here let's look for the caption for the label in there the caption for the label will be reference number there that's the label one it's known as reference number and the other one here is going to be change the caption of this very one to first so name and this let's change this to that's first name and this one will be sorted this will be address just like that and I'm going to just, just speed it all up and get back to you guys okay guys this is how my system looks like but the background let me click on the background change the color of that background I'm gonna make that black so that uh, it will look more pronounced as you can see now that is it okay if I click and run this is what you guys will see you see that you see how beautiful it is but nothing is happening I've also added buttons nothing is happening so the whole idea is whatever data I enter in here I would like it to be displayed on on my workbook here or worksheet whatever it's called right so that is done and each of these components as you can see I've given them all a name all right they all have a name but there's one important thing left for us to do let's go to file and save this first save okay I'm going to save it right inside my data entry form there so we give it a name let's just say data underscore entry underscore form okay but instead of using this excel save type i'm going to change that to excel macro enable workbook so select that there we go and click on save there yeah, that's that done so the next thing we want to do now is let's scroll right down let me start with exit double click on the exit button and I'm going to declare as follows let's say dim I exit as VB message box VB message box result now I'm going to press enter then let's say variable i exit equals message box okay i'm now going to enter as follows so all i'm just going to say is confirm if you want to exit that's 
that's it that's the question i'm asking the end user now comma let's say vb question and plus vb yes no those are the method i'm going to use comma and i'm going to call this so let's give it a name data entry form close that get rid of this there and let's just close that as well now if the selection made by end user so if I exit equals VB yes then all we need to say is unload me and end your if statement and if that is it done okay so if I come in here now let's try this out so what's happening is you can always try just unload me but supposing the end user end up making a mistake this is just giving them an option to check or just to confirm if they really truly want to exit the system so if I click on exit confirm if you want to exit oh no I made a mistake confirm if you want to exit yes see how it works so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly